section 1.1 derivatives. Now we'll do another example. This is a fairly quick one. F is uh, defined in this odd way, okay? F is zero almost all the time, except if F, if X happened to be one over two to the power N, where N is one, two, whatever, then the value of F is gonna be one over two to the power two N. Now that function is a very odd looking thing that will be something like this. And uh, it, it is zero most of the time, but on, on certain dots, it will come up, okay, to be about one half as, as in certain times. Now, the question is, is this F differentiable? Now, if it is dif differentiable, you notice that around zero, it has a very odd point because every neighborhood of the zero point has stuff that's come jumping out, of, jumping out into the air. So it's not, it doesn't even look continuous. So how can it be differentiable? Now, however, by our definition of differentiation, differentiability, this thing will be proven as differentiable. And here's how it goes. Now go by the original definition of differentiation. So we consider this fraction, okay, f x minus f zero divided by x minus zero. This is the definition of, of uh, f prime at, at um, x equal to zero. Now that equals to, since f of zero equal to zero, we would that's simply equal to f x over x. Now, what is that? Now, this is going to be equal to two values. This thing is either equal to um, f x, it's right here, 1 over 2 to the power 2 n divi divided by x, which is 1 over 2 n, for n equal to 1, 2, whatever, okay? And, or, or is simply equal to zero otherwise because when x is not zero, f of x is zero as unless it's something like that. All the rest are zero. So as it approaches there, but not but when x is not zero, just getting close, this this thing is going to be zero. So then that means the absolute value of this thing, if we control its its size, okay, the absolute value of this thing it's going to be less than or equal to this fraction right here because it's either zero or this thing. So it has to be less than or equal to um, the fraction here, which we will write it as, we'll write it the same way, I guess. One over two to the power two n divided by one over power two to the power n. And if you, th then let's do this. What exactly is that? That is the same as, um, you have uh, two to the power, so you have, this is a division, so you have two, two n minus n. It's important to keep track of these indexes and make sure you don't make a mistake between the multiplication, division, and subtraction and stuff. But anyway, by the time you come out of it, you will come out to be a subtraction. And so this is one over two to the power n, okay? And which means that, um, this is going to go to zero. So that means the this particular thing is going to zero, okay? Go to zero as x go to zero, which means the limit exists. So the limit exists. So uh, it, exists, okay, which means f is differentiable. So the answer is f is differentiable. And that's that's the that's the answer to the question. Next we're gonna look at yet another example.